Now at six. Chicago in the political spotlight. It's a game changer for us. The 2024 Democratic National Convention coming to the Windy City, bringing with it tens of thousands of visitors and hundreds of millions of dollars. It's going to be a tremendous experience. Great to have you with us. Here it is, Chicago's United Center. What will be center stage for the Democratic Party to nominate their candidate for the 2024 presidential race? Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson pitching President Joe Biden directly when the president called to wish him congratulations last week. Tonight, our team of reporters looking at what this all means for Chicago and why here. We begin with Charlie DeMar live at the United Center. Charlie. And Joe and Erica, it did not take much time at all. The video boards here at the United Center already advertising for next year's convention. And Chicago beat out two other major cities, New York and Atlanta, to host the convention. I accept. The United Center celebrating the Democratic National Convention with this highlight reel. We did it. We did it, Joe. You cannot underscore the importance that it has on the entire economic picture. I think the uh, uh, where Chicago stands alone is that there's going to be very little, if any, new infrastructure that needs to be built for this convention. Michael Jacobson, the president and CEO of the Illinois Hotel and Lodging Association, <laughs> predicts that 50,000 visitors will come to Chicago next August for the convention, leaving an economic impact of some $200 million but maybe most valuable of all. Few times does a convention bring the media landscape and how many reporters will come here, again, broadcasting to every corner of the world and putting Chicago in that positive spotlight. Take whatever number the boosters are telling you, move the decimal point one place to the left, and that's probably a pretty good estimate of what you're actually gonna get out of an event like this. Victor Matheson, a professor at the College of the Holy Cross in Massachusetts, authored a study on the true economic impact of national political conventions using hotel costs and occupancy data from previous years. The boost to the host city, he says, is closer to 20 million, not 200. And what a big event like this does is it dissuades lots of people from coming to the city uh, during those times. Uh, for example, when New York City uh, held the uh, 2004 Republican National Convention, uh, attendance at Broadway shows was down 20% during that week as regular tourists to the city uh, were scared away by, the, again, the security and congestion. Now, this, of course, is a major national political event, but when it comes to the size of the convention, those in the ind industry say it is a medium-sized event for Chicago standards. Now, most of the events, the major events will be uh, will be held here at the United Center with some of the events during the day. Those will happen over at McCormick Place. We are live from the United Center. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. All right, Charlie, thank you. We have more on some of the numbers Charlie was talking about there. Because of the pandemic, the last traditional conventions took place in 2016. Both brought in a lot of money for their respective cities. According to economic impact studies, Philadelphia's Democratic Convention was projected to bring in $350 million, brought in about $230 million. Cleveland projected an impact of 200 million, but the Republican convention came in about 58 million shy of that at 142 million. 